Oh, there's one. Oh, there we go. There we go. That feels like a good bass. There we go. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, look at this, guys. I'm not sure how, how well you can see him. <laughs> there you go. Thank you, sweetheart. Nice fish. I appreciate that. You didn't have that. Oh, you didn't have that real well. But we'll take it. Thank you, darling. <laughs> Another one to the frog. You know, this morning, I'm here on a public lake in New Jersey. And you can see the lily pads around here. You can't see them now, but down that way, the other side of that bridge down there, there's several people down there this morning. Everybody I talk to, not a bite. Nothing going on. Haven't seen no fish, haven't caught no fish, haven't heard no fish, haven't talked to no fish, no fish, no fish, no fish. Come down here. The whole key to this is I like to find small isolated areas within a, within a that you can see that there's lily pads everywhere here. But you notice I'm on the outside edge of it. Notice also that the wind is blowing this way. So any bait fish or shad or uh, you know anything like that that that's, uh, that the bass are feeding on, they're going to be blown this way right into where the bass are. Then then the key is you notice the, over here. See how thick it is, and then you got little open patches here. That's what you want to concentrate on. Look for anything that's different, and uh, hopefully we'll be able to get another one here. Here we go. I love fishing these frogs. You know, I recently had a guy ask me, uh, yeah, you know, if I thought it made any difference as to the color of the frogs. And, you know, honestly, I, I only throw three colors of frogs. I will throw like a natural frog that's got green and white on it. I'll also throw a green pumpkin frog, and then I will throw a solid black frog. And uh, some days one works better than the other, but honestly, I think more than anything else, it's just that when these bass are in these pads like this, they're in here and they are looking for food. I believe that they're in here looking for salamanders. I believe that they're in here looking for frogs. Uh, you know, as far as the overall presentation itself, it's, yeah, as you can see, it's relatively simple. Make sure, first off, that you keep the bait in the cover. If you're fishing the outside edges of it, and what I mean is like on the, uh, the open water on the outside edges, you're normally not going to get bit or you're not going to catch near as many fish. Keep the bait in the pads. Ooh, I think I just got bit there again and I missed it. But uh, when the fish takes it, try to let the fish take it. Uh, you know, Ted, let him load the rod so you can fill it. But the, but the other thing is you got to have the right gear. For this kind of fishing, I'm fishing a 7 foot 3 inch heavy action rod. Uh, high speed bait cast and reel. Um, when I'm fishing like this, I'm using a Gamagatsu 6 aught super, uh, I think they call it a super line. It's a six, you can see the hook here. Let me show you the hook. It's a wide gap hook here. It's got the, uh, the screw in keeper here on the front. 65 pound Gama braid tied directly to the frog. Run it right out the back. You can see it's got a big wide gap in it. This uh, lays right there on the belly. Now, uh, you know, as far as brands of frogs, I don't, I don't get hung up on that too much. The only thing is, I want you to watch this cast. See that, see the splash? That's intentional. And, and the reason being, I think it's easier for the fish to, to hone in on, on these baits like this. So, so when, I'm, when I got that kind of presentation going, when that's what I'm trying to do, I want a frog that's got some weight to it. Uh, I don't really care about brands, but I don't want a hollow plastic frog. I want a solid rubber frog, and I want one that's got good action on, on, on the tail. See that kicking like that? And, and that's about it. I typically use like a three to four inch frog. I don't... I don't Try, I try not to overanalyze it. Just get a frog that's got some weight to it so it's going to make some noise as it, come across, it comes across the pads. Make sure that your uh, gear is, is, you know, that, that you're using a good beef stick. Make sure that, that you got everything set up so that when that bass does hit, the tray bolt, uh, to, you know, to, to get him in. And, you know, on that thought right there, uh, you know, that bass right there was, I don't know, probably two and a half pounds. But I'll tell you something. It is not uncommon at all to come out like this and make a cast and have a six or seven or eight pounder hit. And if, and if you're trying to do this on a, on, a, on a medium action rod that, you know, you know, that's got 10 or 12 pound monofilament or fluorocarbon on it, 
Um, I'm not saying that, that you're not going to get any fish in, but you're really limiting yourself. Uh, you know, I know throwing these big beef stick rods like this, you know, seven foot three inch heavy action rod, I know it's not the most comfortable thing, or at least it's not for me, it hurts my wrist. But uh, it's something that, you know, I'm willing to, as they say, I'm willing to take one for the team and, and uh, endure to the end, if you will. Uh, I'm just about um, to call this a day. I got some other stuff going, but I just wanted to, uh, I just wanted to stop here and, and, you know, fling this frog a little bit, you know, 10, 15 minutes, see if I couldn't catch or release one or two bass, you know, kind of make my day. Uh, tomorrow's uh, Father's Day, and, uh, you know, to, to all those fathers out there, God bless you and your families. I hope you have a wonderful Father's, father's Day. And, uh, you know, I, uh, to any of those kids out there that may see this video, I, uh, I sincerely hope that uh, you'll let your father know how grateful you are for the life that he's dedicated to giving you a nice home and all his hard work and, you know, all the things that he's done to, to make your life more comfortable. Let him know that he's loved and appreciated for it. Uh, we're going to give this literally like, I don't know, this maybe, maybe three or four uh, more minutes and then, and then call it a day. But this is a presentation that, like I said, you know, I talked to numerous people on the other end of the lake this morning. Uh, and, and I mean, virtually everybody, no, haven't caught a fish, haven't had a bite, haven't seen any fish come right up in here. And what you guys didn't see on this short little video, I'm, you know, I'm not gonna lie to you, that's the only fish that I actually grabbed a hold of this morning. But out here in like an hour, I actually had four other good fish on. And that's, you know, that's one of the, one of the things about frog fishing. I mean, sometimes, uh, especially on bigger fish, they will just, they'll engulf that entire frog. Uh, you can see on that fish that I did this boat there, that he didn't have that frog very well. A lot of times I think they get irritated with that, with the movement of it kind of being in their space, you know, if they're not actively feeding, which is most of the time with bass. And uh, you can still trigger them a, a reaction bite out of them and get, it to, get them to hit it, but, but sometimes uh, they're just not eating it. And today's one of those days, uh, you know, of the five fish that, that I've had on, uh, you know, in, in an hour doing this, uh, I boated one of them, and uh, and uh, two of them, uh, you know, also felt like they they were good fish, but but I never really did have them on very long. They smashed the bait, and I had them on for like five or six seconds, and they come undone. So you know, what do you do? You check the hook point and make sure that the bait's rid properly, and you go right back at it, do the best you can. But uh, all right, we're gonna we're gonna get us like two more casts, guys, and then uh, and then uh, we're gonna we're gonna call it a day here. If you're looking for a good place to buy American-made fish and tackle with a company that supports our veterans, all the baits are made by yours truly here in the United States, I hope that you will check out our YouTube channel at Joe Owens Custom Baits, and I sincerely hope that uh, you will check out our business website at joeowenscustombaits.com. We offer free nationwide shipping on every order. 10% of every order goes directly to helping our veterans and their families. Uh, for those of you that may uh, not know or or may be interested, uh, my only son, Dustin Howard Owens, was a U.S. Airman, and uh, he gave his life uh, while being actively deployed on March 19, 2014. So our veterans are uh, something that, that are extremely close to me. Um, love them, respect them, have just a ton of appreciation for them and for what they do uh, to keep all of us safe. And uh, with that, uh, you know, this is going to be my last cast here unless I get whack a dude here. So, but I hope that uh, you'll check out our website at joeowenscustombaits.com. Again, we offer free uh, nationwide shipping from, you know, uh, from California to Alaska to, to New York and everywhere in between. What a beautiful day. But thank you for checking out this video, guys. God bless you and your families. And uh, fathers, I hope you have a wonderful Father's Day. Go pro stop recording.